Hey, this is MakerJ101. I was just running my Sterling engine, and I heard a pop. It was going pretty fast, too. I heard a pop, and I looked at my Sterling engine, and, sure, and it had stopped going. And sure enough, I looked at the diaphragm, and it had a failure. It got a hole in it somehow. I'm not sure how, but it got a hole in it. So I'm going to have to dis I'm going to have to replace that diaphragm because you can't run it like that at all. I guess I could. Nah, tape wouldn't work. So I'll just have to take it off. I'll show you how I take it off here. All right, so I'm going to replace the diaphragm. Show how to do it. So you just unscrew the little screw on the wire connector up here. It's pretty simple. All right, so then you just unscrew the pipe fitting. And pull it off. And that's the diaphragm. Well, that penny's corroded that I used for a washer. So I'll just have to um, unbolt this. Little un unscrew that little screw and put a new diaphragm in there. Now, the hardest part is getting the diaphragm sandwiched just perfectly between this ring and the other part and then screwing this on so uh, it'll take me f quite a few tries to get that back on but yeah but yeah there's a nice little hole in there I don't know what happened there but somehow a hole busted in it kinda looks melted almost and it was also the hole was right above the uh, hole right here it was right above that so I don't know it's kinda weird well, thanks for watching.